Uh, We're here Wednesday, a couple of days before the, uh, the Rob Flynn and Friends, a.k.a. Rob Flynn and the Fabulous Disasters. You said it. I thought that was kind of cool. You said it. Kind of cool. I didn't say it. You said it. Yeah, and we're uh, getting ready. We've actually got the strings. we got the strings here. We've got Meg. We've got Rebecca. And we got Y Guy Hassan Fefwa, a.k.a. Y Guy, my son, Wyatt. Also known as the Scrunch of Moose, but he doesn't want me to say that. <laughs> Wyatt the Riot! What's that? Scrunch a moose. Scrunch a moose. a doos. Remember, Why Guy Haas and Fefwa. Right in his eye. He's almost got as many nicknames as you do. Almost. He'll, he'll get him. He'll get him. Drummy, Rummy, and, and something about And Rodeo. The, and Rodeo, yeah. All <laughs> rodeo, those. Joe. Those are good. And we're about, to, uh, we're about to run through Darkness Within for the first time with three quarters of the quartet here on the Wednesday before the show. So we're going to rock out right now and get moving on this. Just like all of my other Rob Flynn friends, Craig, my main dude, he's my wingman, Craig LeCicero, he's the guitar, just kills it, he's always there. He, he basically like learns the songs and then teaches me how to play them because he's just got a great ear for that. Craig's my, my old buddy from Forbidden, so him and I played uh, in our old thrash band, Forbidden. Robin said something a few months ago that Tony LaRusa had reached out to him about the possibility of playing the ARF benefit. He did it a couple years ago, but this time he said he wanted to have Rob do the Rob Flynn and Friends thing because he heard about it. And the amazing thing to me is that Tony LaRusso likes hard rock and heavy metal. And I don't know how old he is, but I'm assuming he's older than 50. My man Tony LaRusso <laughs> hanging out at the Rob Flynn and Friends rehearsal. It's a cozy it studio. Is. It is. It is. Right on for coming out, man. I'm right, looking forward to rock out with Mark for a little bit. Well, I'm going to ignore him. He's not, he's not up to your quote. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing him a favor. We have Andy Gallion from Death Angel on the drums. Always glad to jam with these guys because they're all brothers from growing up in the thrash scene in the first place. But to jam with all of them, a lot of the times it's been the first time I've jammed with them because we were always in like separate bands. But just glad to be a part of it and love playing with these guys. Brad Barth, who was in Craig's old band Spiral Arms on the keys, and he's it's killer having him. Like he just adds this whole level of depth to the music. My connection with these guys is, is through a band called Spiral Arms. Craig and I played in that band together for over 10 years. And as you know, Craig and Rob have been friends since childhood. So when he started working with them on these Flynn and Friend projects, uh, he brought me in. My involvement here uh, is just kind of to fill that keyboard slot uh, as other people are rolling in and out of the, the Friends group. So those are my kind of like my three main dudes. Uh, I got Zach on bass. Zach's my engineer with Machine Head and he's killing it on the bass. He's awesome. You know, plays five different instruments. My name is Harold O. I play bass occasionally. I used to play with DRI. I used to play with Blind Illusion and I've known Rob for probably like 35 years since early violence forbidden days. Going way, way back. Also have Harold O. Crummy Harold <laughs> on the bass. We got Harold on there and he's uh, the first couple of Brett. Hey, shut up, Harold! Sorry. He just walked by, and uh, Harold, you know, he's been struggling with surrender. The first day he came in, he didn't know anything. <laughs> we were like, we're playing surrender, not dream police, bro. Come on. Well, my number one job is set list maker. I'm like a, uh, an artiste, a set list artiste now, so to speak. I got Crummy Joe on the drums, AKA used to be fucking Joe. Now he's Crummy Joe. Then he's turned into Drummy Joe. When he's drunk, he's Rummy Joe. And then, because this is his fifth time doing it, 
And this ain't his first rodeo. He's now Rodeo Joe. Maybe. I don't know. That one might stick. We got Eric Bobo McIntyre. He was in Attitude Adjustment, and he's just become like a friend, you know, in the last few years. He used to be in an amazing band called Sap. Killer singer, killer vocals. He's going to do Surrender. Kayla, Craig's singer for Dress the Dead, she's like ridiculous. I mean, insane. She's Aretha Franklin meets the chick from Arch Enemy, like fucking bananas. It's incredible. Uh, we got Swampy on the saxophone. Swampy's been at all of my uh, things, He's a killer saxophone player. And then also we got Mark Russo, who is the stage manager for the ARF benefit. And so I've known him for a few years now. He's a saxophone player for the Dewey Brothers and this dude is fucking awesome. What's up? We got Hi. Kayla Dixon here. What's up, Harold, though? What's going on? How's it going? Good, happy here. to be here. Look at this, look at the camera. We have Y guy Haas and Fefwa here. This is Elaine LaRussa. She's probably yeah. oh, maybe yeah. maybe the biggest machine head fan <laughs> on the face of the earth. In the last year theater night. Sure. Yeah. What did I eat? What's that? You ate the manicotti. Yeah, so so the chicken away. I can't read music, so I have to ask my son. <laughs> Technically I'm better than him. <laughs> What? Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Have fun? fun.